Navigating through the energies of New Earth is not an easy process and can become extremely overwhelming at times. As we all ascend into higher frequencies, we're all being guided to embrace our own unique divine pathway, a pathway created in the vibration of love. Join Vibe Nation radio host, international psychic medium, Carrie Turcott, as she guides her listeners to rediscover themselves by accessing the keys of knowledge that already exist within. Each week's show is divinely orchestrated to intertwine with the universal energies, allowing the listeners to go deeper within and understand the message being shared even greater. When you live in the frequency of love, there is no competition, so Carrie will be joined regularly by fellow soul family members who will bring forth wisdom and knowledge she knows should be shared on a global level. At the end of each show, Carrie will tap into the energies of the listeners to see what message Spirit wants to share with all those listening in for the upcoming week. If you really want to get to know who you truly are, come and join us now on Vibe Nation Radio, here on the IOM Radio Network. Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome to another edition of Vibe Nation Radio, where today I have a very dear soul sister, Kelly Chippendale, better known as Psychic Kelly, on board here with me. And we're going to be talking about expect the unexpected and embrace the unknown. And Kelly, are you there, my dear? I am. Thank you for having me, Carrie. Thank you for joining me. And I think it's right off the bat, it's important for people to understand how you know, we both live in the moment and expect the unexpected. And by doing that, spirit brought the two of us together, which, you know, when I was, <laughs> you know, I was not expecting. It was very funny how it happened because my friends were going to um, uh, one of the psychic shows. And I'm like, I don't need to go to the psychic show. They're just come with me. Just come with us. So I went and I was immediately drawn to Kelly's energy. I didn't have a reading with her. I just was vibing on her. But then I was guided to go back the next day. And it was almost like <laughs> See, you should have listened the first time. <laughs> <laughs> and we had the reading, and we became instant, almost friends. Like, she invited me to something she was doing at her house. And, you know, just by connecting with Kelly, it, like I had just gone through a mass awakening the, the year earlier, and I was now going down my sacred journey back to one, my divine, um, divine union path. And Didn't it was, you I needed to lose your dad with, then, Carrie? No, I hadn't. I'd actually just had a, a relationship blow up my face, but it kind of escalated my father's passing. Oh, okay. So, I remember something about your and, dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, he played a big part of it because it's really that's when my ability kicked in full swing. And basically, I walked away from my event management company to actually embrace and be in service to God. So I want people to understand that, you know, Kelly was this door opener for me. And You know, we're both mediums. I'm very grateful we connected. My abilities kicked in full swing just by being around her. And, you know, the things that she taught me, because we were both on spiritual paths, but she was more in the teaching mode at this point than I was. And, you know, it just, when Kelly and I are together, we have a lot of fun. We live in the moment. We allow spirit to take over. And that's why we wanted to just go with the flow with the show, because, you never know what's going to come out of our mouths when you start to connect with someone that you have a very high frequency with. Mm-hmm. Correct? Right. You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still your, yeah, walk away from your stew. I know spirit told you to make stew, but let's walk away and let's, you know, it's almost like there's so much yep. happening on a plane right now. And I'm, they're using the analogy of you cooking stew that we all have our stew we're in right now, my friends. Everyone's stew is different. And <laughs> yeah. this week, there's, <laughs> there's life altering moments that are about to take place that, you know, it's kind of like those aha moments and spirit is trying to get our attention to say that, you know, who are you and where are you going? And because we're in the new, nobody really knows where we're going. So that's why it's so important to just be and live in the moment. And that's yeah. why I was guided to bring you on here because that's truly how we live our lives. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I find a, a lot of a lot of people right now are feeling this big crunch of this energy, and they're all going, I I don't know what to do next. I don't know where to go yeah. next. I don't know what's supposed to happen next. And and everybody's feeling this sort of waiting for the ball to drop. But yeah. if you just if you're standing there waiting, you're missing so much. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. 
especially with the energies being that the, the way that they are, that, you know, when you live in the moment, the universe can it, drop beautiful things into your life, but you just, you have to be aware of it. And if you're too busy thinking about what's happening yesterday, or what's happening tomorrow, you'll miss it. It might land right in front of your face, but you won't embrace it. Yeah. You won't be in the present moment and you've, you've stepped out of it. And now, uh Oh, what just happened? Where was I yeah, five exactly. minutes ago? What was going on? And then now you're in a new moment, and now you're missing that one because you're worrying about what just happened. Yes. Very it's easy for people can... to get stuck in that motion. Exactly. It's a vicious cycle that we all live through. Yes. But learning how to pull and... yourself and find your peace in the present moment without judgment. Yes. And, you know, we were talking earlier and I was saying that I talked to a lot of people about, you know, embrace life like a sunset. Because when you don't have expectations and you don't have assumptions, you can't be disappointed. And that's not saying that you're not throwing out to the universe that what your soul desires. It's when you throw it out and then you start to create it through that vibe. Because yes. being in the new, again, we don't even know what magic is to us because we've never lived this magic. Yeah, life. don't expect anything to happen because anything <laughs> can happen. So yes. just accept what happens. And roll with yes. it and, and, and learn through it and experience it because all that happens is really in divine and perfect order. And yes. if everything's in divine and perfect order and whatever is best for everyone will always occur, when you can see that even some of the, what we would judge as humans bad stuff is actually yep. good. Because we yes. need it to happen so that we can experience it, so that we can grow through it, so that we can understand what or what not to do. <laughs> Absolutely. How to and, put in you know, the, again, or what it's, not. It's, yes. And a lot of this is as simple as just listening to your gut. You know, if your gut says something, don't go against that gut, because if you do, you usually find out not too long from then that you should have gone with your gut. I should have listened to it. And, yeah. But how yeah. many of us <laughs> how many of us feel that oh our gut goes oh I shouldn't do this and then the rest our ego says oh yeah you will yeah yeah that's all good it's oh, yeah. fine it's fine and then you keep going through it and you keep going through it and then years later <laughs> you go this didn't work and you think <laughs> I should have listened to my gut the first time yeah exactly something said it and wasn't right really yeah. And these are repeated patterns that people are trying to break free from now. You know, well, even, so. my, e even myself, I will, I will admit, okay, I was driving a little fast, but it was a beautiful day and there was no cars on the road and it was a sunny day and I was on my Harley and came over a hill and I heard, you should slow down. That's a cop up there. <laughs> so I kind of did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the cop, the cop pulled me over and gave me a nice ticket and a stern warning and talking to and he said I can clock you from behind even though I was behind yeah. him he still clocked how fast I was going but I heard and my gut said that was a cop but my ego said ah it's okay now nah, you can't get yeah don't worry <laughs> that was a day I wish I would have listened to my gut <laughs> yeah and, and again the, the gut speaks to you in so many different ways and that's the beauty about you know, having this soul experience in the physical body that when you learn to get in tune with, you know, your Yourself. higher self. Yes. When you learn to listen to that voice, because yes. that voice can change and sometimes it can be really loud and other times it can be so quiet. Yes. But it's always there. Yes. You just got to turn off all the other voices to hear it. Yeah, those are those monkeys that just don't shut up, right? <laughs> yeah, the monkeys on our backs or the elves yeah. on our shelves. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And I, I feel that it's, you know, with what's happening with the energy this week that I got that, you know, this is about strengthening your bond with your higher self, with who you are, and knowing that when you give energy to others, you want to ensure that you're receiving in return, that it's not all give, 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 especially with this time of the holidays. Or you're, you'll suck the energy out of yourself, my friends. They're exactly. telling me to bring this up. That, you know, don't allow. Right. And again, everyone's in the news. So don't assume that, you know, somebody that you know you're going to run into at a family gathering is going to be the same person they were last year. Give some people some That's credit right. because you're not the same person you were last year. 
So allow these people and go in there with no expectation. And if they're still the same the way they are, then just eliminate yourself from that energy space. But don't go choose in there to react, and choose to react differently. Yeah. If if yeah. somebody's giving remember, you negativity, if you give them love, unconditional love, even if that's all you can think in your head, you have yeah. other things you'd like to say. But if you turn that around and think, okay, unconditional love, unconditional love, unconditional love, if you're thinking that in your head, you can only put that out. Yeah. So even if somebody is being negative to you, you don't have to take it on. Yeah, absolutely. But it doesn't have to affect you either. Yeah. And that's why I love saying that you want to respond to what happens. Don't react. There's a big exactly. difference. Exactly. Yep. And <laughs> use and and respond with love. Like yeah. there's a I've seen the bumper sticker ask what Jesus would do or how Jesus mm-hmm. would react. Yeah. And and well, again, if as you... as an ascended master, he was here to teach us that unconditional love. We need yeah. to understand that all of us, every single human on the planet, has emotions and feelings. Even if they try to be yeah. hard and cold, they still feel. Yeah. It's part of us. Yeah. And that's what this new journey is about in the new earth. We're feeling our way back to one. It's not about exactly. thinking our way back to one. <laughs> exactly. Feel it. What feels yeah. right. Yeah, absolutely. And, and move we forward. are going to be going to a commercial break. Yeah, absolutely. So here we, here we go. The commercial break. I felt it coming on. That must be the abilities. So when we get yeah. back from commercial break, Kelly and I will jump back in and see what Spirit wants us to continue talking about. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. As difficult as it is to believe, there are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Searching for a perspective beyond the mainstream? Check it out. Join your hosts, Elito Pasquale and Diana Gold Holland, on Share International Radio for thought provoking views behind the news. Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, on Ohm Times Radio. You can also find us at shareontheairradio.org. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. How to be a great dad in 15 seconds. Bike ride, go fish, walk in the park, phone call, milkshake, play catch, picnic, fly a kite, tell jokes, laugh, talk, read a story, tell a story, bumper car, swing set, bowling, pillow fight, cut loose, stay tight. Because the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Welcome back to Vibe Nation Radio, where today my special guest, Kelly Chippendale, better known as Psychic Kelly, is joining me, and we're here to talk about whatever spirit wants us to talk about. And during the commercial break, my higher self was telling me that, you know, they just want to say, welcome to 1212, my friends. You know, this is a big day day when it comes to energy, but, you know, the show is not about the porthole that we're in, because... You know, 1212 to 1221, yes, plays a significant role when it comes to energy, but it's energy that's there for the taking, for you to tap in, to become a stronger soul, to ascend to higher frequencies. And again, Kelly and I talked about this prior to the show, that there's too many people that are putting a date on when something's supposed to take place. And (laughs) in the actual fact, you're setting yourself up for disappointment, because if it's meant to be, it will take place. But Always. these portals that take place, and it's a year of completion, 
And yes, we're going into a year one year for building foundation of the new decade. That's on the collective level, my friends. You have to go a little bit deeper to say, what year is it for you? Like for myself, I'm walking into a year eight. So it's a collective one, but a year eight for me. That's beautiful power. And it gives me guidance to where I need to go for myself and you know, I know, Kelly, you, you totally agree with me this, that everyone has their own journey to where they're going. And again, you use it for the power that's there, but don't put a date on it. No, you can't. Right. You can't say I'm going to be such, I, I, by the time I'm 40, I need to have this, this, and this. Well, sometimes life gets in the way and all that doesn't happen until you hit 45. Yeah, But it doesn't Absolutely. mean that you should give up on the dream when you put a restriction on timelines, you're not allowing spirit to give you the, the directions and the experiences you need to go through in order to get there. Absolutely. So no timelines. And yeah. Time is, is and human, times, not, you know, not spirit. <laughs> yes. And a lot of times when, you know, if you meet up, you know, I'm just going to use a friendship, for example, that when you connect with somebody, they make you feel good. Um, you know, just because they go out of your life for a bit, it doesn't mean that the friendship is done. Maybe the two of you need to learn something first to make that friendship stronger. You know, or, I just, or I, maybe the person was only meant to be walking beside your path for a period of time. Absolutely. It does, all that, everybody that enters our life is, is there because we need them there in the moment. We need them to yes. do whatever it is they're going to do to us. They're just there as a yes. part of our are, we're the director, we're the star, we are the, the cat, we direct the cast, we do everything in our lives, yeah. but we've, we've also, if you, if you can look around like it's just a movie, and what happened yesterday yeah. isn't happening today. Who are the actors yeah. on your screen today? Who is in your life yeah. today? And if they do something wrong, wrong as you would deem it, or judge it, yeah. Yeah. Then also understand that they just played their part to perfection. Yes. <laughs> they did love those such triggers, a good eh? job. Yeah. yeah. You did such yeah. a good job at destroying me. Thank you so much for being in my life. Now I'm going to move on from that because I don't need to do that again. Absolutely. And a lot of people so don't we have see to it also and they give the pattern. Well, or they wish negative to the person who gave negative to them instead of understanding yeah. that we also put ourselves in that position. Now, people are, will argue the fact that, well, what about somebody who is in an abusive relationship or even a child that has an abusive parent and didn't choose that? Well, really, though, the soul, if you can see it on a spirit level, the soul knew what that soul was coming into and knew it was going to have abusive parents because maybe their soul also needs to learn and grow and expand and to grow through it and stop these yes. patterns. Yes. Beautifully become said. aware. Yep. Become, become aware of what's happening around you on a level of what do you need to experience out of this? Yes. Why, why are and, you in this type of, a, uh, of an experience, good or bad, that you need to discover more about yourself through? Yes. And those that um, are new to Vibe Nation Radio, if you go to my website, carryturcott.com, and roll over home, there's a, a, a section called Viber Size. And those are exercises to help raise your vibrations. And the second one down is called the condo in my head. And what Kelly and I are talking about right now, like being able to appreciate why you went through that song and dance with that person is to create that gemstone that you now receive. And this exercise helps you understand this and allows you to appreciate why you went through the BS to get to that mm -hmm. gem. And even you know, not even just with a person, even in an experience yeah, yeah. for yourself, like say you had a car accident. And what in you needed to experience that accident where you go or, or you fell, you tripped and fell, what in you needed to experience that trip and fall that it was going to happen? Yeah. That your spirit, spirit or your soul or your, your human put you into that position in order for it to happen. Where, what, what put you in the exact spot at the exact time for that to occur? How come it didn't hit the car in front of you? Yeah. You know? 
Absolutely. Like all of that, and, and there's it, always, why has got to be the biggest question to ask spirit? Why? Mm-hmm. A lot mm-hmm. of times I, the answer I get back from when I ask why is, well, just because. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean just because? Well, mm-hmm. you'll understand in a little while. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's, then I, you I, realize. I, yeah. And I, I know, like, I call them the 5W clan, the who, what, where, why, when, and how, which is part of the ego. But, again, the ego is part of who we are. You just need to be able to embrace it instead of allowing it to control you. And a lot of times when you ask yourself why, again, you really need to shut the mind down. And allow spirit mm-hmm. or your higher self to speak to you because your ego or your, the boys is what I call it can can come out and give you the answer that you really want to hear just because. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Just because. But that's a life lesson. There's, and there's yeah. the answer right there. Eh? Why? Just because. Yeah. Who? Yeah. You'll see. When? Yeah. yeah. When the time is right. Yeah. Well, Don't worry about it. You, they talk to us in riddles. Yeah. And and yeah. but sometimes our, the riddle is because we need to understand ourselves as well. Yeah, we need to ask ourselves and why. It, and if this is again I'm talking about the riddle that you know I'm very strong with people that when spirit speaks to you and they they give you clarity in certain areas, it's like they give you little pieces of the puzzle, but you have to be able to put it together. And exactly. it's not like spirit comes to us and says, hey, Carrie Kelly, you need to do this, 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 and this. They might turn no. around and throw something at us and say, okay, here's a piece. And until you get the other 10 pieces, you're not going to really know what's happening. Yeah, you have you're, to walking through, you're, you're walking through the store and you see, uh, I don't know, word perfect for dummies because you need to know how to do word perfect. And you think, oh, no, no, I don't, I, I don't have time for that. And then you go to the checkout, and there's Word Perfect again in front of you. And you're thinking, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, like pay attention yeah. to the small signs. Like when you ask, you ask Spirit for direction, they're going to give it to you, but it's always, uh, I want to say kind of incognito the way they give it to you. Yeah. You know, how, well, have you ever seen we- the sign on the highway? You asked for a sign, here it is. Yeah. Well, and think you about know, how many times, Kelly, we've it? heard we've heard from people that, you know, after reading, people will say, oh, my gosh, everything you said happened, but it didn't happen the way I thought it was going to happen. You and I hear that all the time. <laughs> people yeah. assume how spirit's going to bring it to them, and then when it happens, they're dumbfounded to say, oh, my gosh, yeah. it did happen. Oh, it happened just like you I thought said. you said, but it wasn't what I thought. <laughs> Exactly. Or it was it was exact the person is exactly who you described, but they weren't who I was thinking. Yes. Absolutely. That's another big one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and and as mediums we can laugh and joke about this, but it's but it's so true and we have to learn to embrace this because we may be well, not only as others, mediums but as yeah. humans. Well we're students. Yeah, exactly. We're students just like everyone else. And we're, you know, we're human. You're, we're here doing the yeah. same crazy stuff you guys all are. We're paying <laughs> our bills. <laughs> we're we're yeah, going. Exactly. Oh my God, we got this and this and this to do. Oh, I didn't need that to happen today. We but we yeah. roll with it differently because we go. Okay, I got a flat tire. Well, obviously I'm meant to sit on the side of the road for half an hour and. Um, yeah. Meditate while sure. I wait for CAA. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, but it but we could also sit there and choose to go, Oh my God, this is horrible. Now I'm gonna be late for my appointment. What am I gonna do? And panic. Yeah. What are you gonna get out of yeah. that? You're gonna exactly. get a headache and, and anxiety. Need... Yeah. You don't need a headache exactly. or anxiety. <laughs> well, maybe you do, and I don't it... know, but I don't. <laughs> But again, this is about <laughs> seeing the good in all that happens and to let go of duality, saying it's not wrong or right or win or lose or it should be this way, not that way. Judgment. Again, like, again, it's happening for you for a reason. And the way you yeah. experience that, it might not be the way. Like, you know, two people can be in the exact same place, experience the exact same thing, but when they sit down and talk about what they experience, it's usually a different story. Well, it's, it's, right. that's our perceptions are all different. We can all see the yeah. same thing, but we have because of what we have experienced it, 
it, it up to this date, it alters our perception. It's like when we get yeah. into a relationship with someone uh, as a mate, we and we we may take previous relationships and project them in front of that person, and then see that person through our previous relationships, and then it fails too. Yes. Because they said one thing that was the same. Well, now they must be the same as that other person that destroyed us. Yes. And then we've destroyed it ourselves. Our perceptions Mm -hmm. are only there because of the experiences that we have gone through. When we were born, we were all born exactly the same way. We all had to come through a a human female in order to be Mm -hmm. human. That had to happen. So, mm-hmm. well, I don't know. Maybe there's incubabies. There's uh, yeah, the, petri dish yeah. babies. I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah. I think they did something to do with a clone or some. Um, I don't. I don't yeah. know. That was. I think those ones are the aliens. <laughs> They're experimenting. But, but regardless, if we all yeah. experienced second for second exactly the same thing from birth, we would have the same perceptions. But we can't. Because I, the way we can watch the snowfall, but none of us are going to f- see the snowfall exactly the same way. Yeah. Because we're not going to focus on the same snowflake. Yeah. You know? So, again, there yeah. are perception changes. But it doesn't mean that somebody is right and somebody is wrong. Yes. It's just the it's perception. It's their perspective. Yeah. Exactly. It's a and perspective. That's the law of- it's a perception. Yeah. And that's the law of allowance. So, I mean, you know, That's if you don't right. understand the law of allowing, my friends, go and read, get in touch with the law of allowing because you can only change who you are and you have to accept people for who they are. And when people push your buttons, you know, it, they're triggering you, but that's to learn for self. So when we get back, Kelly and I will continue this conversation. So stay tuned and we'll be right back after this commercial break. Free your mind with Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Eros Evolution is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern on Om Times Radio. When Dad needed help getting around, I became his driver. Soon enough, it was up to me to be his housekeeper and financial manager, too. When he moved in, I became his cook and even his nurse. But no matter what roles I play, I know I'm still his daughter. We understand the roles you play. So to help, we created aarp.org slash caregiving, where you can connect with experts and other caregivers. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. back to the Five Nation Radio, where today my special guest, Kelly Chippendale, is joining me. And over the, the, the commercial break, Spirit was saying, let's just talk a little bit more about the holidays, since the holidays are here. And how to go into the holiday season with, you know, an open heart in the vibration of love, knowing that there's so many people on this planet that are waking up right now. And but if you're new to how- this... Go ahead. How about though, not only just going into the holiday season with your open heart, but every day of your life, treat it the yeah. same with an open heart. When you wake Absolutely. up in the morning, I, I do this pretty much every day so that I can realign with my focus. When I wake up, I, as soon as I put my feet on the on the floor, my left foot goes down and it's love and the right foot is light. And as I walk all the way to the bathroom, I do my love and light, love and light, love and light the whole way. Because then I'm starting my my day with with that type of a focus and an energy. 
and then I start my my day starts because I you know within five minutes of waking up your 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 whole day is different. But when you're waking up, if you're consciously putting that love and light out first, you're allowing yourself to put a, a positive energy onto your spin. And you will start to allow more love into your life because you're putting that out. Instead of going, oh, oh, my God, I got to wake up today and go to work. And, oh, I got to do this and I got to do that. And, uh, and you drag your butt to, to get going to the coffee. Whereas if you love and light it the whole way, your whole sh- attitude, everything is going to shift because now all of a sudden you're also telling yourself you need to be more conscious and have that love and light energy around you. If you, if when you touch somebody, automa- just think unconditional love, unconditional love, unconditional love, I bet you that person will feel better after. If you hug them, think unconditional love, bringing that energy into your everyday life it's so simple yet our humans tell us it's so difficult do you agree carrie (laughs) hello can you hear me oh there you are hey see spirits already playing with us i'm talking about the big s that like superman they got the big s on the 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 chest and I tell people like vibrate, you know, you're, you're Superman or mm-hmm. Superwoman and you're sending out that vibration of love. That's and, right. You know, you're sitting there in front of somebody and somebody, you know, it's not having a good time. Like blast your love. Like you might not, if you're a woman, you might not want to stick your chest out. Cause you, they might think you're trying to show them a little bit more, but just send them that love knowing that you are a beacon of love and light and it's a ripple effect. So you exactly. know, that's why I said to people, if you're walking down the street and you see somebody that you know is not in a good energy, Smile at them because that could make their whole day, if not week, you know? Oh, yeah, giving somebody a compliment. So, to be kind is free. Yes, absolutely. It doesn't cost anything to allow somebody to go ahead of you in line. It doesn't cost anything to hold the door open. It doesn't cost anything to smile or to say, I love your outfit. Is that ever fantastic? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, or wow, does your hair ever look fantastic? I love it. Yeah, you know, like a, a slight compliment will will raise a vibration so easily. Yes, and it's but it's just like they're saying too that be someone over the holidays that listens a little bit more, allow exactly people that to, has more compassion. Yes. More and it try and keep the conversation to a we base, not a me base or I, 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 I. You know, go a little bit broader yeah. there. You yeah, know? Speak little of, things like speak that. About, and, and when we talk to people, how, how many people, when you say, oh, how are you doing? Oh, not bad. And then they start to tell you about all the crap and garbage and lousy stuff that's happening in their lives. Well, you know, money's tight because my jobs, I, I got laid off or, or my, my kid needs braces or my, my dog fell in a hole and now it broke its leg. I got to get a cast on it. Like everybody focuses more on the negative. More yeah. humans want to hear that you're doing crappy. They don't want to hear that you're doing great. But we need to understand that we are in this awakening of this new world where we want this positive energy. So now when people are telling us our neg- their negatives, it's like, oh, what good happened to you? What's the good <laughs> stuff in your life? Tell me about the good yeah. stuff. When somebody yeah. phones me and says, Kelly, I just got a promotion. I'm like, no way, that's awesome. I'm so happy for yeah. you. And I'm excited to hear yeah. about the happy things. That yeah. that is a much nicer thing to talk about. So when you're you're out in your Christmas gatherings, try and remember that people to to bring that energy up. Let's focus on our positives. Everybody has negatives. Everybody has hydro to pay. You know. Yeah. So, but yeah, let's exactly. talk about the things that make us happy. Yeah. Everybody has exactly. to shovel the snow. 
But we could talk, instead of out about how crappy it is outside because we have to shovel the snow or drive in it or whatever, we could say, oh, did you see how beautiful the trees all look today laid in snow? Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and, but, and, and taking that joyous moment of, of the beauty that surrounds you and see the mm-hmm. miraculous way that it landed on the trees. How, how come it's deeper on one section of the tree and not as deep on the other part of the tree? And, and how miraculously that, that fell. And yeah. the beauty and the perfection That's a good conversation to have. Yeah, you, if you've got a lot of greens in the house that are very analytical, you could probably have a really good conversation about that. <laughs> uh, there you <laughs> go. Just talk about how the snow is more heavier on one side than the other. <laughs> Well, no, but you know, like if you can pull your mind, not not even just with that, that, but understanding that that's what life is. That is a miraculous thing that's happening around us, but we don't choose as humans to go into that wow of the miracle, m- miracles that are happening. You choose to go, oh, yeah, it's just snow there, whatever. You don't look at that extra depth. Maybe that's just, I'm just a little strange that way, but I do do step into that aspect of seeing it even more miraculously than just what it is. You know what I mean? Okay, I hear you again. I can't hear her either. I can't hear Carrie. Did we lose her? Hello? Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? There you are. I can now. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? It's because we're still on the air, Kelly, if that happens again, I don't know what's happening. It's the energy between us. Just keep continue talking, okay, my dear? I know you know how to do this. You're a beautiful speaker. (laughs) I was like, oh, am I supposed to be talking? Is she talking? (laughs) Yeah. No, we complain. And this happens quite often on Vibe Nation Radio. A lot of people know this about it. When we get the energy moving, a lot of crazy electronic things happen within the show. So, Well, no, it's again, it's all about the retrograde, too. Yeah, yeah, we're in the shadow. And you know what? I'm glad you brought that up. Because you know, I, I, want to... <laughs> I just heard you better talk you about know. that because Gary needs to say something about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's almost like when you when you, we know what a retrograde is about going within and reinventing yeah, crazy and realigning. Energy. <laughs> you know, Making you're, us all you're mental. changing. Yes, <laughs> but this is a time that you do not want to go out there and buy brand new electronics, computers, cars. You don't want to be signing contracts unless you have to All start right. a relationship. No kids are getting computers for Christmas this year because it's just not a good time to get them. <laughs> it's just cheaper. <laughs> they but should I just, get toy, I think toy spinning tops that they have to use manually. Yeah, going back <laughs> to the basic. Yeah, so I, I just feel Hot that wheels. spirit just wants to say, don't, you know, don't be so quick to jump into any relationship, regardless if it's a new coworker, a soul brother and sister, or an actual physical person that's entering your life that, Don't you know, you, you jump want into to a new it. job even. Yes. Right you now is not a time to, to be making big rash decisions. Yes. Now is the time to be reflecting. Yes. And to understand. Realigning. And, and, and Christmas is a wonderful time to re, reconnect and to reflect. Yeah. As you as you go through, as you're putting your Christmas decorations up for those who have an old old decorations, looking at them and, and having the memories of the people that gave them to you or or the Christmases yeah. when you first put them on your tree. <laughs> you know, it yeah. just every, we all have a life. If you ever gone to a mm-hmm. concert, look around when you're at a concert or, or in a place a a baseball game or something. When you're in somewhere where there's thousands and thousands of people, look around and yep. then think to yourself, 
All of them have a life. All of them go to bed. All of them brush, get up in the morning. All of them have to go from point A to point B. They all have a life just like you. And theirs is just as important as yours is. And find the compassion towards them. People on the highway. When you, you see somebody on the highway, they're all on the highway just like you, commuting, going back and forth. We all have to go through these things. Part of our journeys. Nobody gets off the planet alive. I can't hear Carrie again, so now I feel like I just got to sit here and ramble for a minute. <laughs> uh, enjoy Enjoying so much of our, our times in the present moment will bring you much more peace and love and happiness just by being conscious and by being aware. Are you there, Carrie? Okay, okay, uh, <laughs> okay, what am I going to talk about? Okay, we're going back into the, uh, uh-oh, where are we going, people? I hate being on the spot like that. Now, as as you're, you're going into your Christmas as well, give gratitude and give thanks, and, and the more gratitude and thanks you give for everything that okay, you're doing... Good the more you're going to get back. Are you back, Carrie? I'm back. I'm here. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I don't you're like being on the spot. <laughs> you know what, honey? I have to say, this is the first time I've ever been kicked off my own show. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so when we come back, we're going to do the weekly uh, message, and we'll, we'll get back into whatever spirit wants us to talk about. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> Bringing you the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio, your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Om Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor, host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. Dr. Kevin here, and I want to invite you every Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, to join me on the Dr. Kevin Show, where we have a diversity of guests who help you step outside the box, behind the curtain, and see what a load of crap is going on in the world today so you have more information with which to make better decisions. We'll see you there. Namaste. Hello, I'm John Lithgow. Manatees are unique among the most amazing animals on Earth, but they're endangered. We pose the greatest threat to their survival. Many manatees are killed or injured by boats or other recreational activities. I'm a writer of children's books, including one about manatees, and I believe education is the key. You can be part of the solution. Please contact Save the Manatee Club right now. Call 1-800-432-JOIN. Thank you. Carrie there? I'm not here. Okay, I hear you. Do you hear me hey. back on the radio? Can you hear me, Kelly? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Sorry about this. Am I on? I'm, you guys can hear me now. So Yeah, we can hear you. Sorry about this, my friends. We're having difficulties with the technology once again on Vibe Nation Radio, which does not surprise me. And there is a, a, like a bit of a snowstorm happening outside of my house right now. So, you know, let's just hope that, you know, if I lose myself again, we know Kelly's on there and we haven't lost Kelly. So 
Ah. Uh, what I'm getting with regard to the the weekly uh, message is that Spirit is saying that right now a lot of people are going into more of a soul journey. And again, this happens to do with the, Mer- the Mercury retrograde, that you're going within and reevaluating and realigning who you are. And they're saying that anything where the flame has gone out, don't put the focus there. Focus on relighting the flame of your life because they're saying there's so much unconditional love and strength coming our way. And we need to be a little bit more open with regards to our vibrations because many people are still being very miserly and going, my vibes, my vibes, my vibes. And they're saying, don't do this. Open up to the love, knowing that you will get what you're worthy of because you are the co-creator of your reality. And it's almost like they're saying they want you to feel rich with inside yourself. So you feel rich and you're feeling this richness knowing that it's being filled. Be that bridge between heaven and earth and allow that soul connection to create that which is you're worthy in your life. It's almost like you're saying there's a new beginning happening for everyone, but so many people are still seeing it as being a stagnant. And they don't want you to see that. They want you to see that the little child can come out and play over the holidays. So stop sweating things, my friends. Live in the moment and allow your your connection with God to steer the way, knowing that whatever's meant to be will be. So what do you think of that, Kelly? A far. A far. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's very interesting how I've been cut off uh, so many times on this show. And, again, it just goes to show you, again, that we're all energy and we're in a Mercury retrograde. And here's a woman who plugged me in to where I am today. And, and I, you know, I have no qualms tooting the horns for those that lead the way. <laughs> that, you know what, Kelly was the door Thank opener you. for me. and. I will always be grateful for that, and Kelly will always be part of my life. You know, we can pick up well, the phone, you. and I'm like, hey, Kel, how's it going? She's like, come on, let's go out and let's go hiking. <laughs> let's go, let me you take know. you on a hike. I know a great spot. Yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, and Kelly has, you know, a very unique gift. She actually does trans mediumship. So why don't you talk about a few moments about what it is that you actually do, Kelly, and know that, right. you know, you can – you can find Kelly at spiritualreadingsbykelly.ca, right? Yep. Yeah, www.spiritualreadingsbykelly.ca. And it's also on it's my also website on if anybody too. wants to find it. Okay, so mm-hmm. you tell everybody where to find you and what it is that you actually do, Kelly. Okay, well, if you like, you can follow me on Facebook. Uh, you just type in Psychic Kelly and you should get me. I, uh, what I do is I tap into people through the energies of crystals. I find that crystals are a wonderful spiritual aid. They absorb your energy very quickly, as well as all the crystals have different properties. They're going to help you with different things. You are going to be drawn to the crystals that you need the most. So if you see a bunch of crystals out there and you go, oh, I like that one, it's pretty, (laughs) <laughs> just because it's pretty doesn't mean that that's why you picked it because your your vision saw it and saw it as pretty so you would pick it because you need the properties of that so when i do a reading you ta- i tap into you through the use of a crystal you get to pick your own crystal if we do it over the phone or over skype i use a set of crystal oracle cards and all they have is a picture of a crystal on them And I tap into your energy with that, and I get your past, your present, your future information. My readings are insightful, I'm direct, and I'm blunt, and I do not mince words. If you need a kick in the butt, you're going to get a kick in the butt. I also do trance mediumship, which means I allow spirit to talk through my body. And not just channeling with the ascended masters and the angels and, and our higher selves, but I trance with, say, your grandma or your cousin, or your mom, or your dad, or, or whoever is in spirit that needs to talk to you. Now, that's not something I can turn right on. That is up to spirit, and spirit decides on if they would like to use my body as a conduit and talk through me. Well, when that happens, my energy changes, my voice changes, my facial expressions change, the way I talk changes. I have uh, changed the way I'm sitting to adjust for the longer legs or the bigger person to come into my body. People tell me that 
they're not really sure what happened there, but they know I wasn't there, and they knew that whoever they were talking to was the person that was here before. So that's a pretty unique thing to happen. Um, well, I'll never forget that time, in every Kelly. Reading. Yeah. Remember that time when we were at that trade show and you were transing with somebody and you came through and all of a sudden you were speaking like Chinese or something? And no. you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm laughing and the people are sitting there going, she speaks Chinese. I said, no, that's just the spirit coming through. And I remember you all of a sudden you got Was your that the lady I was person. singing Chinese to? I think so. And people were just like going, was that in what Toronto? is that Yes, you were. I think that was in Toronto, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, oh, that's right, because you did a show with me, and I think I remember that. I can't remember the person's name, but I, I remember yeah. uh, it was it was a little Asian woman, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. And, and, just, and it was her it, husband coming through? Yeah, and you were speaking, and your eyes even changed color. And wow. he basically took you right over, and I was just... The woman was almost in soul shock, and I'm like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, it's going to be all good. But it just it goes to show you the difference between, I don't do transmediumship. That's not my ability, right? I do different types of It's not a fun, it, well, hey. it, it's also kind of a little bit scary, because sometimes you don't, know who, yeah. you don't know who you're bringing into your body by doing that. You yeah. don't know what kind of an energy they're going to be. But I do have a rule. I tell them if they want to use my body, they have to come through the five layers of flames that I've used as protection in my heart chakra and they can use my body but they have to leave it in the same condition or better (laughs) when they leave so I usually feel better after doing it it can be very emotionally draining but it does give me a pickup because I think they're like okay thank you (laughs) yeah absolutely and again when you do a lot of readings you get high off the energy and sometimes it can point, take up yeah. to 48 hours for it to hit you. Like oh, yeah. If you do a lot of readings one day, you might be fine the next day, but the next day you're like, that's it, I was a couch potato. You know, again. Yeah, or you can, not- if you do, almost if you do too many readings in a day, though, then you can have days where you're wiped out for two or three days afterwards. Absolutely. And you can't really function. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it is. Again, somebody who's a true medium, you know, guys, again, I've said this before, a, a medium who's a true medium, authentic, cannot work seven days a week, five hours or eight hours a day. It's just, it's simply not possible. It's, oh, no, you we can't do that. We've got to balance ourselves. Yeah. You have to have a life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we're human, too. <laughs> exactly. We have, we have snow to shovel and, and dishes to do. Yeah, exactly. Which, by the way, here's, here's a little thing, because I know how we all dislike shoveling snow. But while you're shoveling your snow, and if you're in, not in the greatest of mood or you, and we all have things we want to release, with every shovel of snow, think of something you want to throw away. Like your anger at your boss for overlooking you for the promotion. Or you're shoveling away the, the guy that cut you off on the highway. Or you're shoveling... Whatever has annoyed you, just shovel yeah. it away. So then when you turn around and they, your path is now clear, mm-hmm. you'll feel better because you've thrown it all away. Don't pick it all back up and put it back on the path. Absolutely. Good scenario there to use, my dear. Especially yeah, I like that snowing. one. I, got a lot of snow to, I have a lot of snow to shovel, so it makes it like <laughs> a little easier. <laughs> Like, oh, my God, i got to get out there and shovel snow again. But it's okay. i got some anger I can release. It's harder to shovel, though, when I'm not mad. <laughs> yes. Well, and again, and I'm I mean. Finding, I'm finding that's less and less and less. So I mm-hmm. had to go snowblower. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But still, when you're blowing it out, you can see it as the shit going out, right? Whoops. Part of exactly. Crunch, release. Even if even right. if you're in a even if you're very very happy, and your life is peaceful, like I'm I'm very grateful mine is. But mm-hmm. when when you even when I have things I want to release, okay, well I'm gonna go and blow all the snow away. That's anything anybody's ever thought negative about me over the last year. Yeah. Or this whatever. Is the of life source or, energy. Yeah. That's right. Or I'm going to blow back all the wishes or whatever, you know? Yeah. Just and release. Again, it's getting creative. 
Yep. Get creative exactly. with how you do this with that. You know, and like keep it you don't simple. need to find Yes. It's simple. You know, like don't bust make a it difficult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Turn on some music like, like you and I both do. Bust a move, you know, do some dishes yeah. and you know Yeah, just when you be in when the you do the dishes when you do the dishes, don't sit there going, oh, I hate doing dishes. I don't want to do these. It's miserable. Start thinking, I love doing dishes because I love to eat off clean dishes. And I like doing yeah. the dishes because it keeps my hands warm. Or, or I can look out the window while I do it. Or I can give myself five minutes to meditate Just be. while I, I mm-hmm. do my dishes. Because doing dishes is mindless. Yes. Mindless work. Yes. Yeah, washing windows, that type of stuff. When you do that thing, you always have room to listen and talk to your guides. But how yeah. many of you that don't do that? You're too busy thinking about what happened last week or last month or how you're going to get the revenge or what you're going to do in a year or when you're going on vacation or when you're going to be happy. Like, I'll be happy when I get the new car. You're not happy when you get the new car. It's only a temporary. Be happy now. It's a choice as much as yeah. being angry. Yes. It's getting away from 3D instant manifestation, you know? Exactly. So so thank you very much, Kelly, for joining me this week. I really appreciated our unexpected whatever we talked about today. It was awesome. It was wonderful. Thank you, Carrie. You're welcome. Thank you. So for Define Kelly, it's spiritual readings by Kelly.ca. And you can find her again on my website, CarrieTurcott.com. So next week I have David Furlong joining me, and we're going to be talking about the soul's purpose. Have a wonderful week, my friends, and I'll see you next week on Five Nation Radio. Bye-bye. Bye.